Hey guys, just wanted to show you real quick something I'm working on here that I thought was pretty neat. Uh, this is an old Yamaha golf cart. I'm not sure the model. I think it's a G1 is like the um, the style or I guess the generation. But again, I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, I just wanted to show you something that was kind of neat. This machine uh, has a two-stroke, uh, two-cycle engine in it. So it's air-cooled and it has a single cylinder. It's right there. You can see the... You can see the cylinder head right there. Um, and this thing has forward and reverse, but it does not have a forward reverse gearbox. The way it accomplishes forward and reverse is the engine actually runs in the, I guess, counterclockwise position to run the machine forward through that belt. And it runs in the clockwise position, so backwards, to run that belt backwards. This is just a, uh, a reduction gearbox here guys, a drive transaxle. It doesn't actually have a forward and reverse gear set in it. And this is a slip drive clutch actually. If, uh, I'll link at the end of this video a video about how these, these clutches work. Uh, but I'm just going to show you what's really cool about this engine. Um, right now I've got the exhaust disconnected guys. You can see it right there because this exhaust is plugged. Um, this belongs to a customer and they were telling me they couldn't get it running and I've deduced that the exhaust is plugged because when I put the exhaust onto this thing it won't run it just uh, fires exhaust out the seam where the two connect and nothing comes out the tailpipe when I disconnect the exhaust it fires right up but I thought this is a good opportunity to show you how this really cool little engine achieves forward and reverse without a gearbox to do it so right there, that's a starter alternator, guys. So what that does is that starts the motor, it spins, and uh, when the motor starts, it switches internally to a, uh, a generator, uh, uh, sorry, uh, an AC, an alternator, an alternator. And what it does is it recharges the battery. So it's really loud, guys. You're not gonna be able to hear me talking, but I'm gonna fire this thing up in forward, and then I'm gonna stop it, and I'm gonna fire it up in reverse, and you'll see exactly what I mean. So the way it works is that's reverse, that's off, and that's forward. So if we wanna start this thing in forward, you put it to forward, and you just depress the pedal, and it'll start up. So watch, I'm gonna depress this pedal. So I don't know if you can see that, but the, this entire belt assembly was turning in the counterclockwise position, which was causing the transmission to drive this forward. This wheel wasn't spinning, but the one on the other side was. Uh, this has like a limited slip kind of differential in it. Uh, so now I'm going to show you if we put this in reverse, which is there, watch the direction that this engine starts. So I don't know if you could see it, but the, the starter actually started the engine in reverse. I believe this is how a lot of snowmobiles work, guys. I haven't worked on a lot of snowmobiles, but I think this is the same kind of premise to the system. I just thought it was something really cool, worth a YouTube video on my channel. You may have seen it before on other channels, but it, it kind of struck me as, wow, what an interesting way to get forward and reverse out of an engine without having a gearbox. So I'm going to put this back together, guys, now that we figured out the problem is the exhaust and button all this up, and then I'm going to go and try and find some sort of an exhaust replacement. I thought maybe cutting the ends off of this and trying to clean it out. I'm not exactly sure. I've never had to deal with one of these before, but... Um, at least we've deduced that the problem is the muffler. Hit the subscribe button. I'll show you some more cool stuff along my journey in the world of mechanics. Thanks for watching.